So are you worried about your hair loss? Have you tried a few treatments, but not seen any sort of regrowth? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share six amazing tips that help massively boost the amount of hair that you can regrow. These are six powerful tips for reversing hair loss that you may have never heard before. Okay, let's get started. Number one, ditch the bog standard Minoxidil. So guys, Rogaine, the original Minoxidil product for hair loss, first came out in 1988, more than 35 years ago. At that time, it was a truly revolutionary achievement. The first ever FDA approved treatment for hair loss. But nearly 40 years later, using the original Rogaine formula is a losing proposition. The problem with this basic product is twofold. Firstly, we know today of numerous other topical compounds that can work together with Minoxidil for superior regrowth. Secondly, a major problem with Minoxidil is that poor absorption. Believe it or not, but approximately 1.4% of your topical Minoxidil is actually absorbed when you apply that standard formulation. The rest is literally wasted. The solution to this problem is simple. Avoid the legacy products and go instead for a modern state-of-the-art formulation. In the description below this video, I've linked to our very own Max Oxidil. It's our regrowth formula and the most powerful formula ever. So aside from the improved penetration, it also contains caffeine, adenosine, and various other active ingredients that are clinically proven to promote hair growth. So you can find that over at hairguard.com. It's like Minoxidil, but with maximum power. Okay, on to number two, use a water filter. So depending on the mineral concentration, mainly that of calcium and magnesium, the water that comes out of your tap can be classified as hard or soft. When it first hits the ground, rainwater is naturally soft, but as it travels through various rock and soil layers, it picks up minerals and basically hardens. A widely cited figure is that 85% of households in the US are supplied with hard water. Common problems linked to hard water are soap scum on your bathtub and dishes, clogs, pipes, and lime scale buildup on taps and appliances. But just as it can adversely affect your pipes and appliances, hard water can damage your scalp and your hair too. It can cause a filmy residue on your hair, leaving you hair that's dull and never feels that completely clean, no matter how many times you've shampooed it. The buildup of minerals can also eventually irritate the scalp, sometimes even leading to full-blown eczema. So while hard water is not directly linked to hair loss, removing it from your life will eliminate an easily fixable source of problems and set the stage for healthier hair and scalp. The easiest way to address this problem is installing a water filter to your shower head. These are wildly available and very affordable, with most costing between $30 to $50. Next up, number three, is relieve scalp tension. Have you ever noticed how shiny and leathery the head of a bald guy looks? That's because aside from the hair follicles miniaturizing, the tissues that surround the follicles change profoundly as the baldness progresses. The scalp skin literally becomes thicker and harder the more advanced the baldness and the more pronounced these changes become. The reason for this is that the collagen, which normally surrounds the hair follicles, proliferates out of control and it eventually hardens to form microscopic scar tissue. Scientists call this buildup of scar tissue fibrosis. In advanced baldness, after the follicles have completely miniaturized, the space they previously occupied is replaced by fibrotic tissue. And at that point, the baldness is well and truly irreversible. While there is no consensus on what drives this exact process, an increasingly popular theory suggests that it's due to chronic low-grade inflammation in the scalp. This, in turn, is caused by a state of chronic 
tightness in the scalp as a result of the tension transmitted by surrounding muscles. So in line with this, there is an astonishing correlation between the degree of tension in various parts of the scalp and their propensity to go bald. The easiest and most affordable way to address this chronic tension is through scalp massages. Over time, the massages will work to relieve that tension, which in turn will reduce the inflammation and allow you to gradually reverse that fibrotic process. If you massage with your bare hands, you'll require on average 36 hours of cumulative massage to see results. A far quicker and far easier alternative is to use a special device called the grow band. It sits around your head and automatically massages the entire scalp, giving much quicker results. It's also effortless, meaning you're far less likely to lose patience and give up on the treatment like most people do with manual scalp massages. Actually, forget about effortless. It's at the point of being pleasant that you would look forward to having it done to your scalp every day. Groband is currently only available through hairguard.com, but since it went viral on social media, it may currently be sold out, so you need to check the website for more details. Guys, if you're not already using the Groband, then you're missing out on one of the easiest and most cost-effective ways to address that actual root cause of your hair loss. Okay, on to tip number four. Number four is switch to a ketoconazole shampoo. Ketoconazole shampoos are antifungal medications that doctors typically prescribe to treat dandruff, though in most countries you can even get them without a prescription. For reasons that aren't completely clear at this point, these shampoos are also effective against pattern hair loss. A study that came out in 1998 followed a group of balding men who switched to a medicated ketoconazole shampoo. So after six months of regular use, new hair was visible with the regrowth peaking at 15 months. Overall, the regrowth is roughly comparable to what you'd expect from minoxidil. To see results, it's generally recommended you leave the shampoo on your head at least five minutes before washing it out. Ketoconazole shampoos will also leave your hair brittle, so you'll probably want to use a conditioner afterwards if you have one available. Okay, number five is microneedling. Microneedling involves making microscopic holes into your scalp, typically using a simple device called a derma roller. So it works by stimulating the scalp's natural healing process, promoting blood circulation, and encouraging the production of healthy collagen. So to achieve visible results, you'll need a once weekly session for the first three or four months, reducing it to once every two to three weeks after that. So when you consider that each session lasts at most half an hour, this is one of the most time effective treatments currently available. Also, remember the poor absorption of minoxidil that we discussed earlier? Well, the countless microscopic holes which the dermaroller creates in your skin's barrier will dramatically increase the minoxidil's penetration into the underlying dermis, which contains the follicles. Combine minoxidil with microneedling and you can expect an up to six-fold increase in regrowth compared to minoxidil monotherapy. Yes, you heard that right, up to six times the results from using minoxidil on its own. Okay, on to number six, a DHT blocker. An oral DHT blocker is one of the most important pillars of any hair loss stack for men. While there is debate as to whether DHT is the true cause of hair loss, there's no doubt that reducing the levels of DHT in your system will often be enough to stabilize hair loss without any further interventions. Your options are on the one hand, pharmaceutical prescription only, and on the other hand, plant-based prescription free. By far the most popular pharmaceutical option is finasteride, which will stabilize hair loss in over 85% of men who use it. Dutasteride is slightly more potent, but in most countries, it's approved only for benign prostate enlargement. So this means that getting a doctor to prescribe it might be a little more challenging. As far as herbal DHT blockers are concerned, the most popular choice is sore palmetto with a recommended daily dose of approximately 320 milligrams. And we have fairly strong clinical data showing that this is almost as effective as finasteride in terms of stopping hair loss, though it clearly grows fewer new hairs. Other popular herbal DHT blockers are reishi mushroom, stingy nettle, 
and Pygeum. You can get any of these from Amazon or other online retailers without any kind of prescription. So guys, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe, leave a comment if you've got any sort of question, and I'll see you in the next video.